Snowflake putting the pedal down on all things AI. Let's welcome in Snowflake CEO Sridhar Ramaswamy. Sridhar, good to uh, have you on here. First time on Yahoo Finance. Can I still call you the new CEO? You've been doing this for a few months. <laughs> uh, you can. Super excited to be here. Yahoo Finance is is an icon, so I'm I'm thrilled for this conversation. Oh wow, well, that's hey, that's it's hard to top after a comment like that. But let's start on on the news you are delivering to investors today. It is uh, what you call the open enterprise AI model. What is that? Yeah, so AI, as everyone knows, we'll get into a little bit, um, is poised to revolutionize a lot of what goes on in enterprise software. For a variety of reasons, the simplest of which is, you know, for the first time since computers, basically, we can just use natural language to be able to talk to software. Um, and Snowflake Arctic, is a what's called a large language model, um, like uh, you know, like ChatGPT, which you have heard of, um, that is open, meaning anybody can use it. But it's also enterprise grade. It is designed to work very, very well in enterprise-related problems, not consumer problems like medical questions. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to let us, Snowflake, innovate and build better and better products for our customers. Um, and we are one of the few companies on the planet that's done this. Um, and so we are very excited for this step and what is to come. So after you roll this out, how does, how does Snowflake make money off it? Does a company come to you and say, hey, I want to use this model and they build something on top of it? Uh, Snowflake's aspiration, Brian, is to make software, uh, to make all data products and AI easy and simple to use. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be integrating this model into our managed model offering. It's called Cortex, uh, so that people that can write SQL, for example, can just use this model and also other you know, follow-up models that we will be releasing. We will also be incorporating it into products like a Copilot, which helps analysts write SQL faster, or this product called Document AI, which is going to let business users uh, get structured information from things like contracts, from documents, for example, is going to be seamlessly integrated. And that's how it fits into our, better mo into our business model. As we make better products, our consumers will use Snowflake more. And as you know, we are a consumption model. We get paid when our customers use Snowflake and get value from it. So it, all that part flows seamlessly. It's not a new motion for us to be using Arctic and you know all of the other things that we are doing in AI. I've really been covering uh, Snowflake going back to the, the 2020 IPO, uh, Sridhar. And I went back to your recent annual report, just refreshing myself on what the company is up to and what you may be doing in the months and years ahead. It's a complicated company. And in this new role, I imagine you, you talk to a lot of investors. When you're on the road with them or you're doing various uh, virtual meetings, what's the biggest misunderstanding you're hearing from folks uh, on all things Snowflake at this juncture? Uh, Snowflake has evolved a lot, but I would actually say it is a simple company in that it is still built on the core of an incredibly strong data foundation. Um, and so we are a data cloud first and foremost. People trust us with their data. But what we have revolutionized is, for example, how companies collaborate with data. People used to be sending FTP files to each other. Um, super error prone, super annoying process. Now people can exchange data in real time across companies, across clouds, across continents. We make that transfer. Um, but more recently, we've also been um, both working with customers, but also with partners to build applications on top of data. Um, that is a big unlock for lots of people because you know if you share data with somebody, they value it at at, at a certain level. On the other hand, if you deliver a finished product that can do so much more, you can capture so much more value. It's really that three part, which is powerful data cloud that keeps expanding, keeps doing more stuff, collaboration, and then applications. That's the one, two, three of Snowflake. Um, and we are at the frontier on all of these areas. AI is interesting because AI is more horizontal. It's poised to change everything from how data is ingested, moved, moved efficiently, to what kind of applications can you write on top of the data. Um, and that's partly the reason why Arctic is such a big moment, because it says we have the capability to truly infuse AI into each layer of Snowflake and make it better, make it more accessible, and ultimately, yes, make more money for Snowflake. If there was any knock on the company, it's that 
It was still unclear this year on how many AI-related products Snowflake would release, but what strikes me with this particular one is you developed it, what, in three months? I mean, do you in see three months, start yeah, to that, finish. That's uh, really amazing speed. Is the message now to investors that AI is, I mean, Snowflake is really going to pick up the pace on its AI rollouts in the second half of this year? Uh, 100%, but this is also where somebody like me that's run large product teams that has sort of held the, you know, pedal to the metal, so to say, for 15 plus years, uh, you know, with the ads team at Google, uh, like, you know, I really would like to see faster innovation, a more of a sense of urgency in the place. Um, and, uh, you know, after a while to build a better foundation with which to extend Snowflake, you're seeing the benefits of all of that. So you're going to not only see rapid fire product announcements and deployments, GAs uh, in AI, but through the rest of what I talked about as well in the data foundation where we're releasing support for iceberg, supporting transactional tables to more stuff being done with collaboration, more applications, more partnerships is really just an accelerated pace at which stuff is going to get rolled out. Um, and uh, AI, I'm like, I can confidently say we are at the forefront of what people are doing with enterprise AI, and we are going to stay there. You spent, uh, lastly, uh, sweetheart, you spent a good amount of time at Google. You really touch a lot of parts of their organization, 15 years as a software engineer, among many other things you did there. What did you learn from there that you are applying here right off the get-go at Snowflake? Never take success for granted. Um, and, uh, you know, I ran the ads team, possibly the most successful team in business ever. But, uh, Never on any day did we say like, okay, job done. Um, there was always that sense of urgency. The world was changing, whether it was, you know, other competitors in ads or ecosystem changes like, uh, you know, how cookies disappeared um, or how mobile came to be. Mobile was an existential threat for Google because we just didn't make as much money on mobile compared to desktop. We, we got through all of that because of that sense of urgency, the need to seize opportunity. Um, I would say that is easily from day one my thing, uh, my thing that I stress with Snowflake, which is we are a wonderful, successful company, but we really have to keep innovating for us to stay successful. Um, that resonates. People want that. People have that hunger uh, to do more. And honestly, even a month in, I can feel the change in how the, you know, how the team thinks about these things and the pace at with which we are launching things. Well, we are looking forward here, Yahoo Finance, to uh, follow uh, your CEO journey and a lot of things you bring to market. Snowflake CEO, Sridhar Ramaswamy, good to see you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Brian.